Hi, how is everyone today? I hope you guys are all having a beautiful and blessed day today. My name is Lady Goddess and I am bringing you a new pick a card reading. Okay, so my mission here is to really try to help and heal everyone. I really want to help um, elevate you and bring you to a state of peace and happiness and also guide you along the way to that. Okay, so I want to help you along your journey. So today's pick a card topic is what you do not see coming. So what don't you see coming that will be coming into your life, okay? What are you manifesting? What is right around the corner for you? So I'm gonna do this reading today in four piles and I'm gonna be using some beautiful oracle cards and some tarot for this reading today. I'm gonna to be using the butterfly oracle cards and these are from Doreen Virtue. Now I know Doreen Virtue no longer wants to be known within the spiritual community, but I do respect and I do love her work. And I'm also going to be using a gorgeous tarot deck from Radley Valentine called the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Now he actually used to work in tandem a lot with Doreen Virtue. So I figured why not put both of their decks together and make a beautiful, very informative reading for you guys, okay? So this is going to be pile one, two, three, and four. So pile one, this is the gorgeous, okay, blue organite, gorgeous blue butterfly organite, and these organites are crafted by Cher from Wing and Bell. And then this will be for pile two. Beautiful. Pile three. And last but certainly not least, pile four. Okay, perfect. So pile one, two, three, and four. This is gonna be a reading on what you don't see coming. So we're gonna be looking into an energy that is manifesting for you in your life that you are completely unaware of. So hopefully I'm able to give you some amazing news today. Okay, and I want you to really truly meditate on these organites or just on a number so I can get started on this reading for you. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Think about which pile speaks to you the most, and I'm going to get started on this reading. Okay. Hi, my beautiful soul. So if you chose beautiful pile one, which is represented by this gorgeous blue butterfly organite, it's what you don't see coming. So what are you manifesting that's right around the corner that you are not aware of? And I'm going to be using some gorgeous oracles and tarot decks today from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So let's take a look at what you do not see coming. Okay towards you. So let's take a look. Oh, wow. Wow. So we have a message here of windfall. Oh my God. That is an amazing message for pile one. So what you don't see coming is windfall. A windfall of what? A windfall of abundance. A windfall of love. A windfall of positivity. Whatever it is, this is an amazing, amazing energy. And I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot to tap into some details about what this windfall is all about. But this is great energy. I do feel that you are really tapping into the spiritual nature, okay, um, of your life. Because to me, whenever I see the color purple, it's always a very spiritual color. So you might be really tapping into um, your intuition as of late. You just might be feeling like you're being very guided. Um, I just feel like you're on a tremendous path to healing. You've been power manifesting. You've just been doing so many things, guys, for, guys, for pile one that I feel has been really bringing this into the forefront and now it's finally going to manifest for you in the 3d so let's talk about what is this windfall 
Okay, so we have this card of release, okay? And this is the death card, Scorpio energy. Endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back, spiritual transformation. Exactly. What did I just talk about? You, I feel, are really tapping into the spiritual nature of yourself. So what are you releasing? You're releasing negative behavioral patterns, people that no longer serve you. Anything that has no longer, uh, or you feel that is no longer um, worthy of being in your path. Okay. So when you're manifesting this beautiful windfall of love, abundance, positivity, you in the same time are actually releasing old behaviors. You're transforming. Okay. The death card isn't always negative. The death card can mean about endings, but also can talk about new beginnings. So you are ending cycles. Okay. Getting rid of those old patterns, moving away from toxic behaviors. Okay, and this is what's really manifesting this beautiful windfall of love, abundance, of positivity into your life. And again, what did I tell you? Okay, a lot of spiritual energy, a lot of spiritual awakening for this pile. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. So this is you right now really awakening to your divine path, really awakening to um, the divinity that is you, awakening to what your true soul purpose is, awakening to what you really want out of life. And that is what's manifesting this windfall of love, this windfall of abundance, this windfall of knowledge. I feel like you are gaining so much spiritual knowledge that it is incredible. You might be really getting a lot of downloads. So for some, you might be experiencing some headaches, some ear ringings. I just feel that you are definitely elevating right now. Even as I speak, you are just raising your vibration. Okay. And while you're doing this, you might find along your path that people kind of just no longer seem to resonate with you. Situations no longer seem to resonate with you. And that happens a lot when we are finally healing, okay? When we are raising our vibration, the people that are in lower vibrations than us tend to kind of fall on the wayside because they no longer really are, you know, viable for your life's purpose. And I'm not saying that, you know, you're just going to start getting rid of people, but you just might find that you'll see the difference in behaviors like, okay, with other people that maybe before was a behavior that you were accepting of. Now you might be turning around and saying, you know what? No, I'm not going to be accepting of this behavior. No, I don't want this for my path. No, this is no longer suiting me. Okay. Let's see what else. Wow. Three major arcanas. This is amazing. And justice be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. So windfall, what is this talking about? This could be any kind of windfall, but things are going to go in your favor. So if you've been dealing with a situation involving a court case, if you've been dealing of, with something that has not been right, okay, something that just has been unjust, things will come out in your favor. They'll start to be balanced in your life. So if your finances have been a little bit out of whack, things are going to start to really level out and actually go into the positive versus staying at level or negative, okay? This is nice because remember the law of cause and effect. The universal law always has to balance itself out one way or another. So if you've had some setbacks in your life, this law here, the law of balance, the law of cause and effect is going to come into your favor, okay? You are going through a huge spiritual awakening right now. And this is something that is going to really change you as a person, help elevate you, okay? Into the path that you are really meant to be on, okay? Help elevate you to a higher level of consciousness. So this is a beautiful message. So this windfall has to all do about things going in your favor. So whatever it is that you've been really wanting in your life and really been hoping and praying, 
you will get a windfall of it. So if you've been hoping and praying for love, love is going to come in your way in leaps and bounds. If you've been hoping and praying for money, you might get a career change. If you've been hoping and praying for spiritual awakening and growth, that will occur as well. If you've been dealing with anything involving a court system, that will most likely go in your favor as well. Okay, so this is a very, very positive message for people who chose pile one. And at the bottom of the deck is the nine of cups. So whatever it is, again, that you have been wishing for will slowly start to manifest into your reality. Because at the end of the day, you also have the sun. So there's a lot of love, a lot of happiness really coming your way. And this is something that you don't even see coming. So maybe you've been stuck in this lull in your life and you're like, woe is me. Nothing's ever going to turn out in my favor. I'm always getting screwed. People are never doing right by me. When is it my time to shine? Well, I see very much in the near future, this windfall energy is going to really start to take precedent in your life. And it's going to be of paramount importance that you really, really try to think and only think of positive thoughts. Because remember, what we speak to the universe is what we're going to receive back from the universe, okay? So this is something that you're not even aware of. So things are actually turning in your favor. And right now, as we speak, you may not even be aware of it. And what I find is absolutely incredible is I'm also using this magical spell card deck, which I love. But look at the fronts of these cards. It almost reminds me of the justice card as well and with the moon here that's you using your intuition so i want to give you a lasting message from this deck on what else your windfall has to do with okay so one message here the windfall of strength wow i love this three plus four is seven seven is a very very spiritual number Strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I am power. So whatever it is that you have been feeling weighed down by, whatever it is that's been holding you back, whatever it is that you've been feeling kind of just like, no, not me again. Please know that you are going to have a more positive experience manifesting in your environment. Things will start to bounce out. You're elevating yourself on your path. You're moving along on your journey, okay? And you really are going to be able to find some happiness and some real wish fulfillment. And as everything, as I always say, sometimes the hardest lessons in life bring out the strongest results because now you're more aware of things in your life and now you're actually able to have the strength so that way when you do get to this elevated level, you have the actual strength to withhold that particular position. Whereas before, maybe you were not thinking so clearly and something amazing could come into your life and you might not be able to understand it or you might be able to, to know what to do with it, okay? So things are going to really start to look up for you. You are really ascending, okay, spiritually as well. I see happiness. I see peace. I see um, things bouncing out for you in whatever particular situation that you have been really hoping for and wanting. I just see nothing but a big yes from the universe. So that's what you do not see coming, okay? So if this reason, reason. <laughs> Sometimes I talk so fast, guys, that I have to like stop myself. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. When you're subscribing, guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And if you would like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Okay. I love each and every one of you. I hope you truly enjoyed this amazing message. Have a gorgeous day. Bye. Hi, beautiful souls. So if you chose pile two, it's what you don't see coming. So this is what's coming towards you, what you are manifesting that you are not aware of. Okay. So if you chose this beautiful butterfly organite, let's take a look. What are you not aware of? Family changes. Okay. So this is very interesting. So there's some changes coming your way in regards to your family. So maybe this could mean a family unit coming together. 
It can talk about maybe engagements, a blending of families. It can also talk about maybe possible pregnancies, okay? So there's going to be some changes that will be occurring in the near future. This is a gorgeous oracle deck. It's the Butterfly Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue, and I'm using them in tandem with the Angel Wisdom Tarot, which, by the way, Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine used to produce several decks together. So I figured, why not use both of their decks? So I'm gonna be using this tarot today to get a little bit more information on what kind of changes um, this is going to be. So we're looking at family changes, okay? So what you don't see coming is going to be some changes within your family. The lovers. Okay, so this is also a very, very nice message. The lovers. The lovers also talks about decision, but it can talk about marriages. It can also talk about engagements. Now, lovers also can talk about a lot of physical activity as well, attraction, sexuality. So it can talk about possibly maybe having a child okay so that could also be a family change so if that's something that you are really wanting that is um on the table for you also if you're talking about wanting to have a serious relationship that can also be on the table for you as well because we see two people here holding hands in a spiritual union so this can really talk about two people really coming together and even though you might be just two single people, maybe you do have children, maybe you don't, it still is a family change of two people either getting married or two people um, creating that bond to have a family together, okay? A blending of a family unit. So let's see what else this talks about for family changes. And we have the Queen of Swords here, okay? So this is also very interesting as well. Because here we have the lovers, which says embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, a vibrant health or recovery from an illness. And then we have the queen of swords here, brilliant experience, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations of people that no longer serve you, seeing the honor in difficult situations, the humor actually, focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individuals. So what I feel here is that for a lot of you, maybe you've been in this period where you've been acting like the queen of swords. Maybe you've been single for quite some time and you've been really wanting to have a strong family unit a coming together with an individual. Maybe you've been wanting to come into union with your divine counterpart or just meet a person that you feel is gonna make you smile, okay? With this here and this change, especially with the lovers, I feel this is very much almost of um, a premonition that you are going to have that change that you've been really seeking. You will have that love and abundance coming your way, okay? Where you can join a unit with another person, okay? You can be able to become one with someone, possibly have a family if you want a family, or if you have children and they have children, blend both of your families together. So if you've been really wanting to have a relationship that is based on a strong family unit, I do see that really happening. Because for a long time, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have been really you know, going at it alone, not really having the things and having um, the situations that truly um, were very beneficial for you. You might have suffered from a lot of relationships that just were really not serving you and people and friends and situations. But here I am seeing that you are becoming much more aware of these things. And so now when you are placing yourself in situations, you're doing it with that thought in mind that you only want to be in situations that you know will elevate you. And then we also have the Ace of Wands here, which is an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. So again, I do see that there's a good possibility for some of you, not all, to maybe conceive a child, especially with the lovers and the Ace of Wands here and the family changes. This won't be for everyone, but for a lot of you, I do sense a really strong 
relationship coming your way or a very strong deepening of the bond of a relationship you already have with someone where you really are going to escalate this to the next level. Okay, so this is something that I feel is very, very important to you. Let's see what else, Spirit. Page of Pentacles, yes. Scholarly, scholarly, sorry, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, a new area of study. So, again, the Page of Pentacles. This is 3D grounded energy. Again, I feel this talks about the offer of a relationship, the birthing of a child, the beginning of a beautiful, passionate beginning or deepening of a beautiful bond that is already existing. Okay, this is you really putting your mindset, this is you really manifesting these changes and these desires. Okay, so that way you can have what you want in your life. Because again, I do feel for a lot of you, you've been feeling very stuck or very stagnant in your relationships and in your endeavors. And then we have this card here of the Empress. So for so many of you, okay, for a lot of you, I really feel the message is incredibly strong in this pile that you will conceive. This might be the pile of someone really wanting to have a child because we have here the lovers, the ace of wands, the empress. This talks all about creativity, creation, the page of pentacles. For others, it's going to be a strong deepening of a bond that you have with someone or a connection that will come in for you that is going to really nurture you, love you, and you will feel very much at home with this person. Very much like you belong with them. Like this is a, like they are your family. Let's see what else. Okay, I'm going to use this beautiful Oracle deck called the Magical Spell Cards to go a little bit further into this. Okay, and let's see what else is going to come up for this family changes here. Organization. Purpose, planning, efficiency. Now come to me so easily. So I do feel this is four plus two, which is the number six, which also is the six of cups, which talks about children and the six, which is also the lovers. So this is a very strong message for you. I do feel there is a strong soulmate nearer to you or a divine counterpart or a very strong deepening of one. But I do feel for a lot of you, you have been planning to conceive. This is a very specific message for pile two. And I do feel that it will come a little bit more easier to you. So this is maybe something you've been wanting for such a long time. So this is something that you don't see coming that it actually might really happen or this relationship that you've been wanting by planning, trying to go out on dates, putting yourself out there is now going to finally start coming to fruition for you. So this is a truly beautiful and magical message for people that chose pile two. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. And when you are subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And if you would like a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this message. Have a beautiful and gorgeous day. Bye. Hello, beautiful souls that chose pile three. So the title of this reading is What You Don't See Coming. So I'm going to be looking into an energy that is manifesting for you that you are not aware of that is coming into your life. Okay, hopefully it's going to be something that is going to really make you smile. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's behind this card. And I am using today ooh, self-employment. Okay, so I'm just going to move this little butterfly over there so you can see this card. Self-employment. I'm using Doreen Virtue's Butterfly Oracle cards. I do know that she took her names off her cards, 
but this is actually a very beautiful oracle deck and I'm using it in tandem with the Angel Wisdom Tarot from Radley Valentine and I decided to do that because they normally do work in tandem with one another, okay? So self-employment. So have you been wanting to start your own business? Have you been really hoping and praying that whatever kind of employment that you have will be successful? Will you be able to get things off the ground? Okay. So if you've been looking to try to start a side business or get things going for yourself, I just feel here with this self-employment, this speaks about a very positive message. Okay. Very, very positive message here. Okay. About um, finally being able to be free financially. Okay. So anything, any kind of endeavor that you've been wanting to start. Okay. Spirit is saying that you will actually do that. That's what you don't see coming. You might be right now just having an idea to do it, but what spirit's letting you know is that there actually is something that you could, this is actually something that you can really do. So you may not even realize that you're going to be doing this, which is amazing. And we have the queen of wands here, which I love this brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can do. Perfect. If you want to start your own business, this is you being bold. This is you being creative. Believe in yourself. Absolutely. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. So this is you taking control of your situation in your life, starting your business, being abundant, being creative, being in control of things, having that confidence to allow your dreams to become a reality. So this is amazing for people who pick this pile because I do feel with the star's energy, having faith, the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times, the light at the end of the tunnel. I do feel here for a lot of you, you've been wishing and hoping that you can be self-employed. Maybe you're stuck in a situation right now that is no longer serving you. You're feeling like you work in a very toxic environment and you're truly just wanting to get out of that energy. Well, I do see here with this particular combo here that this can really become a reality. Your dreams can really become a reality here. But the thing is, is that you have to be willing to put yourself first. You have to be willing to say to yourself, yes, I want to make my dreams a reality. Yes, I am confident. I can take this next step. I can maybe start something fresh. Maybe I have this, you know, great idea. I can get this idea off the ground. This is what energy you really need in order to allow yourself to move to that next level. Okay. Because for a long time with the moon, I just feel like you've been in a very confused state. You haven't been feeling like you can partake in this kind of enterprise. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. So I do feel right now you might have fear, a fear of doing this, taking this leap of faith, starting this creative project that you've been really wanting to start, working towards your dreams and your goals. Okay. And what spirit is saying here, you know, deep down that you have the tools necessary to do this. You've just been holding yourself back. You have been the one holding yourself back. No one else has been holding you back. You have been holding yourself back. And what I really feel here with this queen's energy and the star is that this is a universe saying you have, you got this. You really do have this and you really do have the capability and the talent to be able to get this off the ground. But there's a deep fear here that maybe you won't be successful. Okay. Or that maybe, you know, you might be, be you know, lazy because the four of cups talks about this lack of, um, energy, like an apathetic kind of energy, like, eh, I could care less. But if you want to be successful and you want to have this positive self-employment, you have to be able to get yourself out of this energy because failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, the distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom lost in your own world, wake up. So there's a tremendous opportunity here that is coming your way. 
or that has already been in your path and you're afraid to partake in this energy. You're afraid of what might lead if you do this. You're afraid of maybe taking that huge leap of faith, but don't because Spirit's saying that this fear and this lack of like having that motivation is what's really going to prevent you from achieving your goals and your dreams because you really do want to be self-employed. For a lot of you, you do have an amazing opportunity that you're just afraid to partake on because, oh my, look at this. The ending card here is the King of Pentacles. If you want to be in business for yourself, this is the best card to have because this is the businessman of the tarot. This is the financially stable person of the tarot doesn't mean doesn't mean because this is the king that you have to be a masculine you can be a feminine as well but this is a note from the universe to let you know if you go onto this path you can be very successful with whatever endeavor you partake in compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity the Midas touch everything turning out beautifully a supportive parent and spouse a good person to work for so this is the person this is you having that confidence getting grounded getting out of those fears being able to finally walk towards your dreams Finally walk towards your goals. Finally being able to say to yourself, yes, I want to do this for myself. Yes, this project or idea that I have can actually take off the ground. It's your own self that's really holding you back. Seriously. You are your own worst enemy. And for a lot of you watching this, you know I'm telling you the truth. So now I'm going to be using this magical spell card deck. And I just want to get one other oracle message one extra oracle message for this but seriously guys you have an amazing opportunity that you know about and you are preventing yourself from achieving this beautiful dream of yours because of your own fears for fear that maybe you can't achieve it or that you'll get bored you will be very passionate with the queen and very successful with the king of pentacles and then we have this destiny all that shall need to, all that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. So whatever it is that you are meant to do this self-employment, this is destined. You are meant to be successful. So even if you're afraid of taking that big leap of faith, start small, right? Does it mean like, look, I have my YouTube channel. Does it mean that I'm losing, you know, I'm going to, you know, quit my day job? No. I still work my day job along with the channel. It's only when I feel confident enough that my channel can support me. Honestly, this channel can support me, but I still like having my day job. So if you're fearful of what if I don't become a success, then start small. See how your business grows over time. Because I can tell you when you start becoming more independent and more financially abundant, stable, you will feel so confident. You will feel so charismatic. You'll be happier because you're able to take care of yourself. You're going to start seeing people that are around you that are more um, in a more positive light. Because these are people that are going to be more on your vibration. This is you being just that independent, taking care of yourself, doing you, loving life. And once you start loving yourself in that way, you're going to start attracting energies that are very similar to that. Okay. Remember, like attracts like. So if you want to be in a lower vibrational energy, you're going to want to, you're going to manifest a lower vibrational energy. If you want to be in a higher vibrational energy, you're going to manifest a higher vibrational energy. Okay. So that is the message for beautiful pile three. Just remember that. Okay. You have a beautiful idea in your hands. Don't waste it. Okay. But start small if you're afraid of taking that big leap of faith. So if this resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. And when you are subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And if you would like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. So I hope you all have a beautiful and gorgeous day. Again, beautiful message for pile three. Bye guys. Hi, beautiful souls. So if you chose 
the fourth pile, which is last but definitely not least, the title of this reading is What You Don't See Coming. So I'm going to tell you what is coming in your way that you are manifesting that you are not aware of. And I'm going to be using two beautiful decks today, actually three, the Butterfly Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue and a gorgeous Angel Wisdom Tarot deck by Radley Valentine. And I wanted to use their decks together because Doreen Virtue used to work in tandem with Radley Valentine on a lot of their projects. So let's take a look at what it is that you don't see coming. A new exercise program. Okay. So that's a little, okay. So this is a little bit more of a softer message than the other piles. But again, this can have an amazing meaning to it because when you start exercising, when you start taking care of yourself, what happens? You get confident. You start looking amazing. When you look amazing, you start attracting, you know what I mean? Amazing looking people. Remember, we're always all imperfect, perfect people. So no matter what you look like, you are just beautiful just the way you are. But you might be starting a new exercise regimen. Maybe you're going to go into a period where you really are wanting to be very healthy. Maybe now is the time where you're starting to say to yourself, you know what? I've been sitting home for quite some time. I want to start going outdoors. I want to start working out. I want to start, you know, feeling the sweat again. Okay. I want to start working on me. That's what I see when I see this exercise program. Okay. So that is a message for pile four. But remember, even though this is a softer message than the other three piles, this still is a major message because this talks about self-love, taking care of yourself, okay? Protect what you have created. This is the nine of wands. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. So you might really feel like it's a struggle to get yourself into shape, okay? Okay. For people who pick this pile, this is a very specific message. So if this is not something that you feel like resonates with you, pick another pile, okay? But this message here talks about someone that is really struggling to get themselves in shape. Maybe it's a struggle to get that workout in every day or to at least work out a few days a week. Maybe it's a struggle to eat correctly, but with proper perseverance, because remember the nine is almost at the 10, you can get this done. You can achieve this particular goal okay because with the ace of swords here brilliant ideas that may need refinement overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out communicate clearly and concisely remain objective so i feel like you've been really wanting to have a life change for a long time but you haven't been able to do it now you're starting to see clearly that yes if i want these changes to happen i'm going to really have to start working very hard in order for me to get the goals and to get the things that I want out of life, okay? Because remember, most for most of us, life doesn't happen for us. We have to go out and get things, okay? Not everyone is basically raised with a silver spoon, okay? Where things are just handed to them. We all have to go out and work for things. So if you're not born with a perfect physique, we have to go out and we have to work for it. We have to eat right. We have to exercise regularly, stay healthy, take care of ourselves, right? Have a positive mindset. And I do feel that for some reason for this pile, you really want to have a very healthy um, routine going forward. Maybe in the past you were in very toxic environments and this going forward is something that's going to really help heal you, okay? Really help heal you. For some... I am hearing you might have gone through some addictions. Now, the addictions does not have to mean like drug addictions, just some sort of addictive habit that you're really trying to get over. And this exercise regimen is going to really help you heal. And then we also have here the king of swords. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic. Receiving wise advice. Remain objective and fair-minded. Public speaking. Communicate clearly unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. So when I see this, I just feel for a long time you've been very lethargic and just kind of ho-hum with your status quo. You haven't been feeling that confident, guys, for people that chose this fourth pile. 
you've been down on yourself, maybe you're not too happy with how you look, you could be the most perfect individual, even though we're all imperfect, perfect, but for some reason you're really overlooking things and you're really pointing out your flaws. And what spirit is saying is to stop getting out of that mindset, start persevering, start thinking in ways of happiness and peace. So that way you can get yourself moving. And we have here the Knight of Pentacles, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details, wait for perfect timing, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. So seriously, guys, it's not going to happen overnight. But if you really want to be successful in achieving the very um, happiness that you've been wanting with self-love, right? Taking care of your body, taking care of your soul, taking care of your mind, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time to get these results. But I feel like now you're really wanting and you really are ready, in a sense, to start persevering. Okay, there's a strong resounding message for this pile that you will be starting to take care of yourself. So for some, you might have really have let yourself go and it's starting to really get to you. And I think now you're getting to the point where you're like, uh, -uh I cannot take this anymore. I really have to start working very hard for myself and I really need to start elevating myself to a different level. Okay, in order for me to feel confident and be confident in who I am. And the last message here, this is the perfect card of confidence because the queen, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. The queen of wands is a beautiful, confident, magnetic, charismatic individual. Okay. And this is what you've really been wanting. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and and personal life. So I feel very strongly here that you've been wanting to be in this beautiful, confident, amazing um, energy where you love yourself. You look in the mirror, you're happy with what you see, but you've been really down and out about that. It's been very hard for you to start this regimen where you go out and you take a walk every day. Maybe you drink more water. Maybe you just change your eating habits. It's been very hard for you, but the end result with the slow and steady progress is you feeling better, you feeling confident within yourself, and you being the best version of yourself that you can be. Okay, so let's take a look here. Okay, and we're going to use one more card for the Magical Spell Cards deck to just really... Ooh, Sorry about that. One more card here to really see what spirit has to say. Because this is a really positive message. This is you loving yourself. And you don't even see this coming. Okay, so you just, you might be saying to yourself, oh, I don't like this. I don't feel right. I'm always tired. Boom, new exercise program. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'm going to use this Oracle deck. Divine guidance. I love this deck. Whispers from beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. Again, thinking clearly. Ace of Swords, King of, King of Swords. So I do feel you really are wanting to elevate yourself to a totally different level. Your head might be in the clouds for quite some time. You may have clouded thinking. You might not be eating right. You may not be resting well. You just really might be kind of a mess in as far as like certain aspects of your life. Okay. And actually how you take care of yourself. But what spirit is saying, okay, is that now is the time and you and I are realizing it. you are manifesting a whole new way of life for yourself and a whole new routine. Okay. You don't even see this coming because this is what the title is. What you don't see coming is you becoming confident. You being happy in that skin. You rocking that bikini like you've never rocked it before. You stepping out and saying, you know what? I got this. I'm in shape. I'm doing things for myself. I eat healthy. That's you just taking like no prisoners. Okay. So that is your reading for today. Okay. So that is a beautiful message for people who chose power.
for. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. When you're subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Okay? So I hope that this reading, guys, gave you a little, you know, a little something, something to look forward to. Every message in this reading was positive. So that is great because there are some negative cards in these decks. So I'm very happy I was able to deliver a beautiful message for each pile. And again, if you ever need me, I am just an email away. Okay. I love each and every one of you. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye.